Calgary Stampede went into a paddock and up towards it. Well, hello everybody, it's uh, something Andy here on a very, very cold day, I tell you. It's uh, it's three jabolics off here, I tell you. It's so cold, this wind is horrendous. But anyway, I'm still riding, so that's the main thing. Uh, just a couple of three things, really. I think I'm going to use this vlog more as a ramble on about one or two things and uh, see what you think. Well, one of the funniest things I've seen this week was in Visor Down. It was about potholes. The old custard fields there, look. Oh, oh, it's going to be great this year for custard. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, on Visor Down. Potholes. Well, apparently there's a novel way of getting them filled. All you need to do is get yourself a tin of spray paint. Go out, find your uh, pothole and uh, spray a giant penis around it. Yeah, a bloody great knob around the pole. You go on there, you'll see the pictures. Somebody's been doing it. Spraying these big knobs around the uh, potholes and it seems to work. The authorities turn up straight away, clean your knob off. <laughs> that sounds bad, doesn't it? Clean your knob off and fill the pothole in. So if you want anything done, maybe it's a new trend we should look into big tin of paint or spray paint spray a huge great knob on the floor big penis but uh, it works apparently they fill the pothole in so there you go good word of advice from Suffolk Andy on how to get rid of your potholes my god that's terrible but anyway <laughs> look at this even though it's a cold old day look at this Suffolk countryside even with these bloody ugly pylons they're still lovely but anyway, the other thing I want to talk about was uh, I was watching a vlog from an American vlogger saying about his content of his uh, of his vlogs. Uh, he's not just a moto vlogger; he also does like camping things and knives and stuff like that, you know. But he's finding that uh, he doesn't know what to put into his content because he reckons he's losing so many subs when he goes to uh, the knives and the camping. Well, then he said that he was thinking about starting another channel for for that sort of stuff and just keep his, uh, his channel just for motorbike sort of related things. Now, I said a uh, reply back to him saying that, uh, you know, put up what he wants. If that's what he wants to put up, put it up. If people want to watch it, they'll watch it. If they don't want to watch it, they won't watch it, you know, and maybe he would, you know, get more people interested into it um, than if it wasn't just motorbike related, because we all know that, yeah, motorbike related is great, you know, but there's, you know, you can't keep harping on about batteries and helmets and tyres and stuff like that all the time. You need different contexts, so if you mix it up a bit, you know, you might get other people interested in, you know, the other subjects, then they might actually get interested into the bike and stuff. You never know. I don't know what you think about that then, boys and girls. I know myself, you know, I try and mix up my content. Sometimes I do a motorbike thing. Sometimes I'll do a crazy thing, you know, talk a load of friggin' shit or make up a story or something like that. My God. She wants to do forever. But anyway. <laughs> I was being a lecherous old man there, I think. <laughs> Look at that little arse jumping up and down. It's like two little ferrets in a sack. But anyway. I don't know. I'm just going all over the place today. Yeah, so content. You know, I try and mix mine up. You know, a lot of people uh, say, you know, I'm sort of church mad and stuff like that. And, you know, I do show a lot of churches. I don't go inside them or anything like that very often. But, uh, you know, I try and mix it up with a bit of history and uh, a little bit of motorbike stuff and a little bit of humour now and then, you know. So, I don't know. Sometimes I actually think to myself, you know, uh, am I using the right content? Am I, you know, doing putting the right stuff up sometimes, you know. And sometimes it's funny how it works out because you can... Uh, 
put a vlog up that you really are quite proud of and it goes nowhere really and you can put a vlog up that you're not so sure about and it gets hit like crazy you know it's a funny old world out there I think in YouTube land go on in darling oh look at me being courteous to a car my god it's only because I know it's a 30 mile an hour limit <laughs> and we've got far to traffic lights yeah, you know, so content, what's, you know, and I actually sort of spoke on this a little bit um, on my last vlog when I said about, you know, uh, some of the um, vloggers that I watch, you know, I tend to watch the smaller ones, you know, up to about a couple of thousand subs or a little bit more on that sometimes, but I don't watch the massive ones. Um, and if I do, you know, if they start wheeling down the road, stuff like that, I just dick off it really but uh, no so what what sort of content do you boys and girls like do you just want people rambling on about anything or do you like to find out more about that person you know what their life is and lifestyle or, or what they do for a living or stuff like that you know oh you can tell them back in the town can't you Yeah, so I'd be, you know, find that interesting if you let me know on that one. You know, what sort of content, you know, you like. I know some people like the ghost stuff I do, you know, so I'll throw that in now and then, you know. Go to a haunted place or something like that. And like I was saying about the last one at uh, Langard Fort, I'm going to uh, definitely go back there. I have uh, my daughter Amy, as soon as I said I was going to do a, a vlog at Langard Fort, she said, I'm coming, I'm coming. So I said, okay. I said, I use you as ghost bait. And she laughed. So yeah, so we're going to go down there ourselves as soon as we get the chance and uh, do a vlog there. You know, I'll throw that in. You know, so I, you know, there's a, you know, there's 101 subjects out there. Life is a, you know, a big thing. It's uh, got so many facets to it. It's unbelievable. And, uh, you know, I should be always be able to talk about something even if it's not interesting to somebody else it could be interesting to another person you know and uh, I don't know I'm just rabbiting on here I think but uh, I think this guy should put up what he likes he's doing it for himself really I know we all like to please our subscribers there's no doubt about it you know if I when I put a vlog up I think well that should please a lot of the boys and girls out there if I had done a vlog that I didn't think would please anybody, I would not put it up. But uh, if I think it was generally going to be interesting to uh, even half the people who watch my stuff, I'd put it up, you know. So, anyway, I think that's enough. Filtering, filtering, filtering song. Filtering, filtering, this is my filtering song. There you go, Captain Rambunches. Even Suffolk Andy has done the filtering song. <laughs> anyway, I think that's enough from me. All ride safe. Love each other. Suffolk Andy.